What's up everybody, we're back with another video. This video itself is not just for leather workers, but also for customers. So I'll probably start saying this video to every customer who's going to make sure for a custom belt. I've had a couple people over the past few years that measured incorrectly and their belt was too small. So that's why I'm making this video. So first off, get the belt that you have currently. If you don't have a belt, uh, borrow one. Borrow a belt, go buy one for $2 off of Amazon or whatever. Just something to work off of. So when you're measuring for your belt, all right, this is how I measure. You can go ahead, pop your buckle off. So you're going to measure from the fold here to the hole you use the most. So you stick it, take tape measure, put it here on the end. Let me go ahead and flip these down this side. So this fold here, put it at the end. You're gonna want to make sure this is stretched out. You don't wanna have it sit like this. Pull it down and stretch it out. Slide it down. So looking at this, this is the hole that I use the most. It's on 32. That is the measurement that I need. So don't, if it's not bunched up, it goes back to like 31 or whatever. Make sure it's stretched out just like that. That is the first step you need to do. Figure out what hole you use. All right, if you're a customer, that's all I need to know. That is literally, you have to make sure you get that measurement right because if you don't get that measurement right, nothing will be right. All right, if you're a woman, if you wanna wear it up on your waist or up higher, I need to wear high-waisted jeans, uh, it'll fit there, but if you go all the way down, it might be an inch or two bigger, so just measure wherever you want it to lay out at. You can do it with on. If you don't have a belt that fits you correctly, all you gotta do is pull it tight, make a little mark right there, wherever, pen, pencil, same thing. Put it down, up against there, stretch it, make sure it's laying flat, and then whatever hole you use the most. So for this, we'll be doing a 32. So yeah, that's all I need for you guys. Uh, if you're a leather crafter learning how to lay a belt out, we're gonna do that now. All right, now we're going to lay out the buckle end of this belt. Don't look at this one, it's ugly, it's old. But, so this is how I lay these belts out. So first off, I'm gonna start off, this is gonna be seven inches here. You have a three and a half inch fold, and then I stop my tooling at the three and a half mark. Some people tool it to the end. I don't like how it looks. So I'm going to take a tape measure, if I can find one. Well, I'm, I'm an idiot. There's one right in front of my face. Let me grab a pencil real quick. All right. So I'm going to make a mark at three and a half inches. All right. Make one at seven. This right here is where you're going to use your slot punch. All right. And this is the end of your belt. So now what you're going to do is that 32 inches we measured beforehand to the hole you use the most. You want to measure from this fold. If you measure from this end here, it's going to be too short because you're measuring that back end. You want to measure from the fold to the hole you use the most, which I make the center hole. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to put that center line right there, back to zero, and we're going to go all the way down here, let me move the camera around a little bit, and we're going to mark it at 32 inches. This right here, I'll take this little jig here I made. All right, put the center hole. 32 inches should be the waist size. That should be the hole they use the most. All right, you can have two holes to go up. I space them out three quarters of an inch and two down. All right, from here, that center or that 32 inch mark, the hole they use the most, I come out another seven inches. Let me go ahead and move this here. So going back to zero, I'm going up to seven inches. 
all right right there so now you have your fold all right just like that 32 inches to the hole they use the most you have extra room for holes here forward backwards and then you have that seven inches there so that way whenever they wear it let me throw my belt back on you have extra because sometimes if they don't have a buckle a buckle adds depending on size usually three and a half inches if i'm not wrong but with that you will have some excess here on the side just like that you can put a thing there but that way it sits just like that so now i'm gonna go through use this little jig here that i made i have different shapes for the tails we're gonna use this one here for a second i'm going to cut out the tail All right, flip it around, and I'm just going to use my uh, punch to do the end. I don't have a round punch. I just use these uh, these point tips for the end of my belts. Sometimes I don't like the round. I don't know. It just it depends on what you want. I'm just gonna center that up here. All right, make sure it's centered good. And bam. Right there, you have a belt blank for that 32. Do not go off of belt sizes. Do not go off of belt sizes. If it's a size 32 belt, don't make it 32. Absolutely make the customer measure their belt like I just showed you. Because I've had it in the past where people wanted to do the belt measurements, they come out wrong. So just make them measure every single time. I don't care, don't care make a measure. But anyways, yes. So that right there is your belt blank. All right. I wear size 32, so we'll check it out real quick. So let's go ahead, feed it through. Just like that, fold goes here. All right, oh, I'll put that sucker on backwards. So, buckle would be here. Just like that. It's a good back through here like this. All right, cinch it down tight. Just like that. Bam, it's a little not broken in. This will be folded down, but just like that. Poking that hole. I don't know if you can see that well, but lined up right there in that center hole. That's tight, right there, right in the center hole. Got a little bit of excess here. Just like that, there you have it. That is how I measure my belts. And that's how I lay my belts out. So, figure I made this video, at least attack some of the people who buy belts off of me. Uh, because like I said, there's sometimes people have problems measuring and yeah, I just figured this would make it easy. So, hopefully you can learn something from this video. It's how I lay my belts out. Like I said, I had three and a half inches to the fold and then seven inches from the hole they use the most. And that works good for me. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the video.